Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to get the best dark theme for Eclipse. So this is the stock dark theme, and personally I don't think it's that good. You know, it's it still has these kind of white lines all over and this part's still white. And I just don't think it does a very good job. So today I'll be showing you how to get a better version. And I think this one looks so much better. It's actually black, it's not just like a dark gray and you can change the, the colors of the text. So in order to get it, you need to go to the Eclipse Marketplace, and this is a free um, kind of extension or uh, application for Eclipse. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Help and Eclipse Marketplace, and you're gonna go to Search, and you're just gonna search for Darkest Dark Theme and Enter. And the first one here is called Darkest Dark Theme with Dev Style, and that's the one you want, so you're going to click on Install. And I'm going to go ahead and install all of it. It does have some custom icons, so, so I'm going to also check the icon designer, and click Confirm. And I'm going to accept the license agreement, Finish. You can see down here it says it's installing software. Now it asks me, would you like to restart Eclipse IDE to apply the changes? So I'm going to go ahead and restart now. And it's asking to save changes. I'm going to click save. So here we go. It says welcome to dev style. And it's, uh, has, it says it includes uh, enhanced experiences for Eclipse IDEs. And so it includes the workbench themes, inline search, and startup experience. So if I go to next, it's showing me the style. So it's showing different um, kind of uh, options. So I'm going to click on darkest dark theme because that's what we're here for. And go to next. And every time it has a different kind of a quote or saying here, which I really like. So this is the welcome. I'm just going to X out of the welcome. And it says tweak the workbench, so you can change the colors, you can change it to, you know, like dark red or anything you like. Uh, deep black is the nicest one, it's really black. It's not like, you know, uh, it's not like, you know, dark gray or anything like that. You can do dark gray if you like that, You can, uh, which is called darkest dark. But I prefer the deep black. The other thing you can do is you can enable breadcrumbs and you can change the editor kind of uh, colors so there's all sorts of different colors here you can choose from I personally don't like any of them so I'm going to show you how to get a, a pretty custom one so I'm just going to stick to Eclipse standard and go to continue and it says uh, the theme is now active so you need to restart again so while it's restarting, you can go to uh, Google Chrome or whatever browser you would like and just search for Eclipse themes. And you get to this thing here called Eclipse Color Themes. So you're going to go ahead and open that. So unfortunately, this uh, site that I was going to show you called EclipseColorThemes.org is uh, not working right now. I'm not sure uh, what's happening. Maybe they're just working on the site or something like that. But anyway, if you go to the site, you can find many different themes for the like just the text here. And so what you can do is you can just search or browse through and uh, make sure you download the XML uh, version. I've already downloaded mine, it's called uh, Sublime Text 2, and it basically looks like Sublime Text 2, which is uh, another kind of uh, text editor software that uh, you can use. And so I just like the color, the colors they use in it, so I got that theme. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Eclipse, go to Windows, Preferences, uh, Dev Style, that's a new thing that'll come when you install the uh, Dev Style, and Color Themes and import and you're just gonna browse to where that xml file is i found mine and i'm gonna cl uh, click on it and you can see it has uh imported it so that's what it looks like and you can enable to force colors or not and theme background or not and yeah you're gonna click apply and close and here you go you can see that I have the black theme in the background and I have 
my own um, color hi kind of highlighting for the um, the actual code. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.